But there was one problem at Burning Man. With a population of only 75,000, there was a lot of shit. And there was no water to take it into the rivers, which is kind of what we do today in our current sanitation system. So I was like, is this what Mars is going to be like? Just a dusty, waterless shitstorm? So I was like, hey, Ellen, are you working on a sustainable sanitation? Are we going to have a toilet in Mars that doesn't use water? Today on Earth, there's 3 billion people that don't have a Guys, toilet. Guys, I actually have to say, we have to keep it, the, it, it, no essays, only questions. All right, so are you working on a toilet for Mars? <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, I think um, Mars actually has a huge amount of water and water ice, so I don't think we'll really uh, suffer a, a water so shortage in Mars. The main thing about Mars is actually going to be energy. Um, if you have energy, there's plenty of water because there's, there's massive amounts of ice. Uh, so it's really just about um, getting huge numbers of uh, uh, solar panels out there and potentially doing uh, geothermal um, energy. Um, and you know, ultimately, um, I think assuming the public is receptive, we, you know, there might be nuclear. I think certainly if you build nuclear on Mars as to whether you transport nuclear to Mars would be you know, kind of up, up to the public to decide.